All right, so the community has finally started. I invited some people from Cold Call, but that got old. I just want to like have the floodgates open and get a ton of people in this Discord community. I was at first like a little bit um, apprehensive. I went through this phase of being depressive, which we crazies often do. And during that time, I, I was picturing it as like this degenerate Discord community where people would just like sit and spam memes and chat all day. And maybe they'd be really funny. I don't know, but. I also had this kind of Luke Smith conception that, like, everyone on the internet is a loser. You don't want to interact with a big crowd of internet people. Uh, but that's just... There may be some truth to that, but it's not, like, a blanket statement. It's, it's rare you'll find a statement like that that's completely absolute in all cases, just because the internet is such, like, a insane, burgeoning, random mess of spaghetti human connections and information. But... We originally, there were a couple different server attempts. There was a matrix, uh, not a matrix, an XMPP server, um, even an IRC for a little bit. And then I think um, someone set up a Flarum, maybe Cellghost set up a Flarum, um, like, which is just kind of like a forum um, for posting longer form information. The thing is, though, as good as it is to have uh, just recommendations about like what to read and stuff from, from people who are also ambitious and want to understand the world more, it's often more helpful to just have the people as like a, uh, a source, a pool of people to live interact with and bounce ideas off of. Like if you've ever pair programmed before, it's so much more fun and so much more effective than solo programming. Some of the time, depends on who you're doing it with. But same thing with math. I, I wish there was like more of a community to um, just work through math problems, work through proofs together, because it can be really helpful. You can learn very quickly um, if someone's got a, they've got kind of a handle on proofs and they're fine walking you through. Like, oh, here's here's what I would do in this scenario. I'm gonna look at these few things and and. Yeah, it, it should just be really fun to have like a source of people you can work through problems with together. And same thing with pair programming. If you've never pair programmed, it is wicked fun to try to solve a problem with multiple people. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun time. And you can get a lot done. So the type of person I'm looking for in this community, I've actually we've created a filter uh, to get rid of the, the normies, so to speak. And by normie, I do not mind like whoa this is awesome i don't mind like skill levels at all like you can be a complete react noob i'm looking for a few different traits and the questions in the questionnaire uh should reflect that they basically like what i want is someone who is willing to learn who, who has like a thirst for knowledge continually like learns isn't just like i i want to learn <laughs> react component library and then get my tech job it's okay if you want a job. It's just like that's I'm not looking for the archetype of person that's like learning for the sake of like as as a means to an end. Like you should just be like learning all the time. Then the next huge important thing is ego. Like I I don't want to deal with anyone who is getting defensive about their ability level. Like everyone in this community should have their emotions completely under control. No um no, like rioting when someone roasts you for not knowing something or people won't roast you for not knowing something because people in this community are just like nice and decent human beings who don't do that but yeah i just i don't want to deal with any big egos i don't want to deal with like that kind of immaturity it's just like a, a complete waste of time you'll get you'll get ego reported and booted like immediately um and not to say that I'm not like I don't want like an autocratic government to some kind of server. It's just like <clears throat> be be a decent person. Just just don't do like ridiculous <laughs> emotional stuff. I, I, it seems like that should be pretty obvious, but I don't know. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, honestly. I'm thinking like another another fork in this channel. Uh, oh wow, this is cool. The thing going on with this channel is so I'm trying to learn a bunch of different stuff right now, and unfortunately, like it's it's not very glamorous for entertainment purposes to be like slowly chipping away at understanding like kind of kind of difficult things like math or computer science. Um, 
but I don't want to like sacrifice my learning for entertainment at all, which might mean I have to post slightly less frequently. I'm not sure. I'll I'll try to keep pretty regular, but I don't want to like detract from the quality of what I'm putting out. And it's also like the 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 road to mastering things is like very slow up and down. It'll it'll take like years before I'm really familiar with math and and I'm really familiar with programming. Uh, and I'll try to showcase as much of those projects. But I think working with other people, pair programming more, talking about math and computer science, um, and trying to work on more projects with people from this community will be a huge accelerator for anyone who is really in it for the long term. This is like a, uh, a long term games type of server. Hopefully you can meet people here where you will You'll work on something, you'll work on bettering your understanding over the course of several years. It's not like get rich quick. Um, yeah, there's, there's some cool projects to work on. You could maybe find some kind of employment here, but it's not really the goal, it's for learning. And yeah, I'll, I'll link the form in the video description. It's a Google form because we wanted like all your proprietary important information to be collected by the uh, technocratic overlords. Maybe we should have made this open source just because some of the people on here are like privacy weirdos, but that's okay. If, if you're so much of a privacy weirdo, you don't want to use Discord, you can get on this and then there's enough brain power theoretically to just build like a, a VPS with a dedicated XMPP or however you want to communicate. Ooh, connect your, just <laughs> use, uh, I don't know, FFmpeg or like a system audio library to to stream your your audio stream directly to a VPS and then receive someone else's like you can figure out whatever you want. I'm not I'm not like um, married to Discord whatsoever. It's just convenient for a lot of people. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be like um, this application exam and just review things probably manually, maybe with a little bit of AI. But like the the process here is not strict at all. Like it's not like oh you have to we need 10 paragraphs this is like the mit entrance exam you've got to be like the smartest person in the world it's just like i don't want to see like no capitalization like sentence fragments like because i wanna like no i'm not if you put in that little effort then no your attention span is too bad for this um uh, but yeah that's about it i'll catch you next time